Ari Shalom, Father Stardi, Rakati Ahawa, Rakati Ahawa Shah, Rakati Ahawa, Rakati Ahawa Shah, Rakati Ahawa, Rakati Ahawa Shah, Call Halal Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shah, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who rule well and teach well, and who are the two leaders of Israel today. Also, I'd like to give another shout out to the, uh, the up and coming of the Akazah, the man of Israel. Uh, down here in Greenville, South Carolina, who my teacher funder. Also, like to give another shout out to Sister Akim, who are the four corners of the earth that's pushing the truth and our sincerity and righteousness in these last days. Um, also, like to give another shout out uh, to you, Sister uh, Also, like to give another shout out to you, Israel life foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations causing confusion, coming back to our heritage in these last days. And also, a quick shout out to you, you outlaws, you sisters out there that stand in order and doing what y'all need to do in these last days. All right, see y'all like to say shalom. And, um, <laughs> this is I this is weird, you know, um because I was gonna do this video yesterday, uh well the day is uh day what, Friday Friday? Yeah, kinda of, day Friday. But I was gonna do this video Thursday, but you know, I, I was I was tired, I was exhausted, you know, 'cause I had to work and uh I had to drive like three hours to damn hometown or whatnot and I ain't got I ain't really didn't get no sleep and I I had <clears throat> you know I had went out with the uh, GMS South Carolina uh, brothers that day too as well, and you know I, I enjoyed that. You know I, <clears throat> I enjoyed being around those I can you know you know spirit was heavy uh, when we went out there. You know, but uh, what I was about to say is you know I was like I said I, the uh, topic I'm about to go into today is uh, you know of course uh, you already know what wicked ass uh, pagan ass you know uh, 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 damn wicked ass day done. There ain't no damn. Uh, it ain't no damn holy day. It's a damn wicked ass day, man. You know, uh, Christmas, man. I, uh, you know, they was going to uh, Christmas the day at camp. You know, and I was like, damn, I was about to do a video on that. You know, and they already went into it. That was the spirit. You know, spirit wanted to be brought out. So guess what? I'm about to bring it out myself. You know, and Lord willing, you know, this video be edifying because, like I said, I pe- like I said, man, I people in uh, the spirit of, you know, uh, damn want to, you know, have mercy. You know. Want to be out here partying and turning up when you got uh you got all this shit going on you got damn uh, uh cold ass weather you know they should be goddamn trying to stack up on uh, goddamn generator study trying to you know buy buy these goddamn kids you know toys and shit you know our people don't think about stuff like that man they thinking about they thinking about damn getting kid getting these kids you know gifts for Christmas and nine times out of ten the damn gifts ain't gonna last nothing but a fucking week the kids ain't gonna do nothing. But play the shit for a damn week and then stop playing with all it's gonna break. You know what I'm saying? You busting your ass for a damn. You busting your ass for these little ass kids just for them to break the damn toy, man. You know? But, uh. But, uh. I'm, uh. Like, I'm, uh. Kick it off with, uh. Matter of fact, because, like I was saying, that, that's what I was about to say. That, uh. Because these damn kids, you know, they. they not, not, like, not the kids. These damn grown ups, you know, the parents or whatnot, they be like. Well, well, when we tell them, you know, we tell them, man, hey, man, Christmas is going, it's going on, man. You know, the Bible say you're not supposed to celebrate that, man, you know. And they be like, man, we know, man, you know, we do it for the kids, man. We do it for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, them kids going to get y'all ass put, put the fucking death, man, you know. And, and that's why we say, man, Proverbs uh, 22 and verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he would not depart from it. You see that? And I, that's what our people not doing, man. They're not uh, uh, training up the child the correct way, training them how to keep law and commandments to the best of their ability, training them how to say the true names of the uh, of the uh, the, uh, the father and the only begotten son, you know, which is uh, the, the, the father's name being Yahweh, you know, and uh, the only begotten son name being Yahweh Shai. You know, it's not God, you know, and it's not Jesus Christ, man, because that's what our people think, you know, the true names are, man. All right? They think God is a true name, man. God is just a... A title, man. You know, there's there's many different guys, man. You know, we, hey, the scripture said we are guys, man. You know, but it's, the point is that train up a child, man, in the way that he should go, and how we should be training up these child. We should be train. We should be training up our children how to keep the, you know, the, the Passover, you know, the uh, feast of dedication, you know, uh, uh, perim, you know, uh, uh, the. The uh, Day of Atonement, you know, and etc. Man, you know, our people don't know how to train up them to uh, keep those high holy days. Why? Because they don't fucking know. They've been taught lies all their damn lives. So a lie gonna lead to another lie, to another lie, 
and it's going to be passed on for generation to generation to generation. Why? Because our people are not training them the correct way. You see that? So it says train up the child in the way where he, uh, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So when he get older, hey, he know better. He know not to celebrate uh, uh, Christmas. He know not to celebrate Halloween. He know not to celebrate down birthdays and celebrate down uh, uh, July 4th and et cetera, man. He know better, man. You see? And they say he will not depart from it because, he, like I said, he know better, man. But see, when you don't know better, hey, you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over, man. You see that? So it's very important. Train up your child, man. All right, and like I said, man, our people don't even know that Christmas it goes back to uh uh Horus, uh, but not even Horus. It goes back to uh Nimrod, man. You know, Nimrod. You know, it goes back to Nimrod, man. Our people don't know that though. They say, oh, that's Jesus Christ's birthday. That's Jesus Christ's birthday. First, of all, first and foremost, the damn name ain't damn Jesus Christ. Second of all, where in the scriptures does it say his birthday was December twenty fifth, man? That show you our people don't. Like that shows you right there that our fucking people don't read the scriptures, man. Because where in the scriptures does it say Jesus Christ was born on Jesus? I mean, Jesus Christ was born on December twenty fifth. What what does it say there in the scriptures, man? Please tell me, man. You know, please tell me, man. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, shaking my head. Let's go to uh, Amos. It's like that. Uh, it's like it. I mean, uh, Colossians. I ain't going to say Amos. I'm going to say Colossians. Colossians uh, chapter 2 and verse 8. It says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not of Hamash and not after Hamashiach. Let me read that one more time. It says, Colossians 2 and 8. Beware. The scripture said, Beware, meaning you got to, hey, Hey, you know, be on point, pretty much. It says, beware. If any man spoil you through philosophy, you know, especially Esau, he got a whole bunch of goddamn different philosophies out here. See that? And our people, and our people are almost in every goddamn philosophy it is, man. You know? But it says, beware. If any man spoil you through philosophy and vain see after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not of Hamashiach. It's like, and not after Hamashiach. You see that? Our people, uh, our people are uh, doing the tradition of man. What's, what's part of the tradition of man? Christmas. You see that? Christmas is the tradition of man. Like, hold on one second. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, you better go to work. All right. All right. But uh, it says Colossians two and eight. It says, "Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit, after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not it's like and not after Hamashiach." You see that? So our people uh, 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 doing the tradition of man like Christmas, you know, uh, celebrating uh, 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 things, get things killing. I ain't gonna say no damn Thanksgiving. Things killing, you know, and I and I, I can't stand this time of the year, man, because all these goddamn bullshit ass uh, uh, pagan holidays, man. And, and then when you come around, I, and see, I can't stand coming around these holidays because, you know, your so called family, well, it is your family, but, you know, they, 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 they second family. You know, your true family is the brothers, you know, that's in this truth. Like, the, like how was I said, uh, those who do the will of my father, the same as my mother, my brother, my sister, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, but, you know, the, the point I'm trying to, uh, the point I'm making is, uh, the point I'm making is, you know, when, uh, when, oh, yeah, yeah, the point I'm making is when these holidays, like, because you got, you got what, you got damn, you got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas, you got New Year's, you got Valentine's Day, you got all these damn holidays coming back, and then, you know, your family expects you to get them something from those, from those holidays, man. That's why I hate when all these holidays come to pass, and come, come around this time, man. You know, it's aggravating because they get mad at you because you ain't celebrating the damn holiday, man. You know, after you done told them so many goddamn times, man, you know, you done told them millions of goddamn times you don't celebrate, they still get mad. Like, you, you can keep being mad all you want, man, you know? So let's uh, go to uh, um, Jeremiah chapter uh, 10 and verse uh, 2. Well, really going to start at verse 1. 
And we'll probably close it out after this, man. If I ain't got no more precepts left. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and uh, verse 1. It says, and, 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 you know, like I said, my videos, uh, a video, you know, like, like, man, let me put it like this, man. Um, I don't know why the spirit got me bringing this out. I really don't want to bring it out, but it's a good point. You know, like, 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 you know, I, I ain't trying to, you know, uh, make my videos too damn long because, matter of fact, out the camp, you know, I was with the GMS brothers. You know, I'm not in GMS, but I was with them. They, you know, I, you know, I thought I would come out there and watch them, you know. And after the camp, it was pretty much saying, man, hey, man, we need to stop, you know, ranting too damn much, man. You know, get straight to the point, man. You know, hey, we're supposed to be breaking out scripture, man. You know, yeah, we break it down and then boom, move on. You know, we need to stop ranting and, you know, doing all these other things. We just bring out the scripture and hit the point and move on, man. And bring out another scripture, hit the point and move on. Stop doing all that goddamn ranting, man. That, that was, that was, uh, you know, a beautiful thing that uh, Bishop brought out, man. You know, so shout out, uh, shout out to that, uh, that, I, that out right there, man. You know, that's a, you know, a diligent brother right there, man. That, that brother, hey, that brother be going in for real, you know. But it says, uh, Jeremiah 10 and, uh, 1 it says, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So he's talking to the nation of Israel only. You see that? Only the, hey, the Lord, hey, hey, that's spirit too because, hey, Hey, uh, camp, hey, we were going to school how the Lord is only dealing with Israel as well at camp, you know, when I was out there with those oxygen, man. But it says, hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaking unto you, O house of Israel. Verse 2, it says, thus said the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, learn not the, it's like it, thus said the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, it says, learn not, learn not the way of the heathen. Who is the heathen? The other nations. Right, you got your Edomite, your so-called white people, you know, your mouth, your Moabites, your so-called Chinese, you know, your Ammonites, your so-called Japanese, your Hamites, your so-called African, etc. Right, those are your heathen. So it says, thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, meaning learn not their customs, learn not their, you know, they 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 they, they uh, wicked ass holidays they they celebrate, right? Like Christmas and shit. Those those not our holidays, man. We don't we're not supposed to be learning from them, man. We got our own laws, statutes, and commandments. That the Lord gave it to us, man. But well, we shouldn't be learning from these heathens, man. And when our people learn from those heathens, they going off. You see? Because our people learning, like for example, they learn how to put fucking dreads in their head. They going off tattoos and shit. They learning their customs, man. So now our people going off. The scripture said, Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And when it says, uh, learn not, the, uh, when it says, be not dismayed, at the signs of heaven, mean you know, because the chariots and stuff, you know, the chariots, you know, being the heavens, you know, because you got three heavens, you got the heaven, you got the heaven where the, the father be at, you know, with the, with the only begotten son, you got the, have, the heavens, uh, the atmosphere where, where it says, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, right, that's, that's the atmosphere, you know, the clouds and shit, and then you got the uh, rulership, that's the third heaven, see that, so it says, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, but the heathen are dismayed at them, so the heathen, when they see the chariots and shit, they be all, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. You know, we're not supposed to be, you know, all shut up. Hey, yeah, we, you know, call all you how about you have a shot? Because we understand that, hey, that's our salvation right now, man. You know, verse 3, the point, though, it says, for the customs of the people are vain. See, they are vanity at the end of the day. They bullshit, man. It says, for the custom, it says, for the custom of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. It says, let me, stop, let me read that again. It says, for the custom of the people are vain for one cut of a tree out of the forest. Uh-oh, about to go into Christmas. It says, for one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hand of the workmen with the axe, they decked it with silver and with gold. Uh, they fastened it with nails and with hammer that it moved not. You see that? And that's, that's, hey, that's your Christmas tree. The Lord right there in Jeremiah 22. I told y'all dumbass niggas not to celebrate that shit, man. And guess what the fuck our people gonna do on Sunday? Cause Christmas on, it, 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 it lands on a Sunday. Guess what our people gonna be? Uh, gonna be they gonna be right there in the goddamn church celebrating Christmas, <laughs> like the bishop said. I believe that was the bishop that said that uh, when I was at camp today at, with the uh, Great Mills on South Carolina camp. I believe he was like, uh, Pastor Portchop ain't gonna bring that shit right there out during uh, Christmas. Jeremiah 10, uh, 10 on down the pole. You know, he ain't gonna bring that out. I wonder why, because he's going to be losing that goddamn uh, uh, money that he's going to get, you know. 
And usually, you know, during those times, hey, they get money. They get uh, they get double the money they usually make, man, because it's the holidays. You know, people want to, you know, be nice, and they think that's Jesus' birthday, so they think they're doing good by, you know, sending a little extra money. So guess what? You think that damn pastor go bring out Jeremiah 10 and 2 in front of those people be like, y'all going off by selling Christmas? Hell no. I mean, if I was a pastor and I knew, I wouldn't, I wouldn't goddamn tell, I wouldn't uh, uh, bring out Jeremiah 10 and 2 neither. neither. You see that? But guess what? That's why the Lord had to send out his prophet. I had these last days. Why? To, you know, uh, dismiss all this bullshit that's going on. You see that? But our people hate when we bring it out. Why? Because they've been told lies all their goddamn life, man. You know, hey, once you tell a lie so many goddamn times, you're going to believe that goddamn lie, man. You see? So I just wanted to go in this quick little lesson, basically going through how people celebrate Christmas, and they shouldn't be. All right? You, you should be in the spirit of want to celebrate Christmas, man. You know, and, and the Lord bringing out judgment. You worry about Christmas and shit, man. But anyway, man, uh, Lord, what this video was edifying. I'm gonna close it out with giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakhakadash. Shalom to the next time. Shalom.